If you play League of Legends, you might have been. By Camille, and you might have asked yourself, where is the nearest bridge? Well, today I'm gonna help you find out with the power of Google Maps. In my case, this was the bridge nearest me. I usually go here to contemplate ending my life whenever I'm a victim to Riot's brain dead game balancing, but I won't be ending it all today. You see, I'll be playing as Camille and not against her. Instead, I'm gonna be teaching you the truth about whether or not you should play Camille. Camille is an MI6 Mary Poppins. She's the crossbreed of Lin Beifong and Attack on Titan, and she got the fattest ass. And it's safe to say that hearing her lore from me would be pretty boring. So instead, we've got a guest commentator, Australian cunt. Take it away. Camille's law. It's pretty simple, all right? Basic as balls. You'll probably understand it unless you're a fucking dumb cunt, which you probably are, so I'll talk a bit slower. It was a straight up banging party back in the day. It all fucking went pear shaped though when her auntie lost her fucking arm in a tractor accident. But the party just kept going. And no one noticed the fucking armless lady because they found this Hextech crystals, right? And they just got you mangled as fuck. The cunts were up for days on end. But as it turned out, these crystals weren't a never-ending resource, nah, nah, nah. And due to her auntie being a fucking smunt, that's a smug cunt, and losing her arm and fucking being in the hospital, they couldn't afford it anymore unless they sold their mum's DVD player. So they decided to go for a cheaper synthetic crystal option. Now, now this only resulted in Camille and her brother even surviving till adulthood. She quit her synthetic Hextech crystal habit because she still wanted to seem like a hard cunt, she fucking went and cut off both her legs and replaced them with fucking knives and scissors like some fucking, some fucking Quentin Tarantino bullshit. Now every now and again she'll torture people and cut their heads off and stick the scissor handles up their cunt because she's a dog mate. She really is a dog mate. Thank you Alex for that beautiful iteration of Camille's lore. Anyways, let me walk you through the perfection of game balance that is her abilities. Her passive should be named Bullcrap Chicken Shit Motherfucker, because every 20, 15 or 10 seconds, based on your level, she gains either an AD or AP shield for 20% of her maximum health. The game takes into account the total damage your opponent has dealt this game, and factors in your armor and magic resistance to pretty much suck you off and swallow you dry. They made a passive that automatically works around 80 fiddlesticks. Just think about that. Camille's Q. Precision Protocol is an auto-attack reset that scales with AD. It provides bonus physical damage and a movement speed bonus. It can also be reactivated for yet another auto-attack reset with twice the damage and 40 to 100% of the damage dealt as true damage. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking, but nope. This ability is not where full AD Camille shines. It can't crit. It can't fucking crit. Fuck! Her W, Tactical Sweep, or more commonly referred to as Scissor Kick Motherfucker, deals physical damage in a cone. People in the outer cone take 8% of their max health, plus 3% per 100 bonus AD. Cutching bitch, this is where it's at. Riot Games, why did I ever doubt you? It, this is what we need in the game. This is gameplay. This is innovation. I just think, wahoo! Every time I hear percentage health damage, Every three auto attacks, a dash on E, percentage health shield, an auto attack reset on Q, cause it's just sentences that I relate to fun, innovative gameplay. Speaking of fun, her E hookshot fires a gameplay, <clears throat> sorry I meant a grappler in one direction, and it, it's, okay, it's the three dimensional movement gear from Attack on Titan that lets her dash twice with her E button, and I ain't even mad, that shit is fucking incredible. You can use it to get away, jump walls, juke, dodge, chase down enemies, and... <laughs> It's just brilliant fun that scales with AD, stuns whoever you hit, and gives you attack speed. <laughs> Finally, Camille's ult, Hextech Ultimatum, or as I'd like to call it, Jarvan Alt 2, the sequel, because we didn't get it right the first time, creates a zone for 4 seconds, which knocks opponents that weren't targeted away. It can't be escaped by any means, which is a fucking lie, because if you get pushed out of it, it disappears. Anyone can also walk back into it, but here's the kicker. Inside of it, you deal percentage health magic damage. <laughs> Also, real quick, can we stop giving Riot shit for over-sexualizing female characters? Look at the last four. Musclehead, Surfer that shows no skin, Furry Schizophrenic, and an 80-year-old lady. As thick as Camilla is, I just can't get past the mental barrier of getting my head chopped off while eating her out. 
why can't we just go back to the time where every female was a slut fox that sucks a lot of dick? Remember when you could cum buckets just listening to character voices in different languages? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Those were the times. Anyways, back on track. This is a pretty standard build for Camille. In the words of Easy E, I have seven children by six different mothers. Some say this man was a genius, and that his words were philosophical poetry. I say, Easy E died of AIDS. Listen to me instead. Don't play like a fucking cuck. Be true to the game. Stay trill and hustle hard. Build these items, you fucking retard. Quote me on that shit, I'll stand by this build till I'm in the fucking grave. Every rare now and then, Riot just releases something that rejuvenates my love for this game. Camille Kled and Tom Kench are the last that really struck a chord with me, and fuck they're all fun to play. Besides, any addition to the game that can come at the dreadful, beefy meta we got going is a godsend. She's incredibly fun, and here's why. You see, the thing about Camille isn't that she hasn't been nerfed. It's that she hasn't been nerfed. Yet. You might as well buy a lottery ticket if you intend to pick her in ranked. On a side note, her recall animations are pretty fucking peng if you ask me. You got BM sword copter and literally get your legs removed. That's fucking gangster. Now to end this video out, I wrote you all a beautiful Christmas poem. <clears throat> boy oh boy, it's that time of the year. The time to rate a bitch with Christmas cheer. As for the looks, she's got quite the rear. But the rest of her design is pretty queer. I give her looks a 4.20. Out of 10. Hold up. And as for her gameplay, the score will be bigger. Percentage health damage is my trigger. Attack on Titan swag. I dig her. I give this hoe a 10 out of 10, nigga! And now, the only score that matters, my friends. My personal enjoyment revealed once again. I need this to rhyme, so I love fucking men. And for the rating, she gets a 0 out of 10. I fucking hate League of Legends! Fuck this game! Merry Christmas and goodbye 2016!